Well, hello there, friends. So you kind of got me at home, so I'm just vibing. <laughs> You're gonna get me in the raw and the natural. We have been under severe storms all day. Oh, it does not, oh look. Oh, there's an Amazon package. I wonder if this is my tripod. Anyways, we have been under severe thunderstorm warnings. Look at it. I mean, we just had a torrential downpour. Look! Surprise! I wonder if this is my new tripod. But anyways. So, I'm a little hesitant to go for my morning walk. Um, because a lot of people have been dying lately by lightning strikes. And I mean, it was just thunder and lightning. Ooh, it's chilly. Feels like a fall day here. So, I'm a little hesitant to go for my walk. But I thought today, because it's not to the prettiest out, and I might be stuck in the house, it's for me. I bet you this is my new tripod. We'll play in a minute. Um, since I'm stuck in the house, today would be the perfect day to share um, what I eat in the day with you guys. I've been getting a lot of um, request for that. Like, Missy, what do you eat in a day? Oh, the lighting. It's horrible because it's so dark here. So let me see if I can't go over here by the light. I'll turn on this little light and see if this helps. But anyways, so I'm going to do what I'm eating for the day. Um, let's see if I sit here. If this helps any. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, um, I'm all scatterbrained. That box totally threw me off. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, so right here, I'm just going to put in what I had for breakfast. It's no big deal. I pretty much eat this every single day. Um, it's just raisin bran um, with granola, and I don't drink regular milk. I use um, unsweetened silk dairy really bothers my gut so I try to stay away from milk I can eat cheese but like well, I'm not eating ice cream but when I was eating ice cream ice cream milk mm, stuff like that doesn't bother me cheese I'm I'm okay with cheese doesn't seem to bother me that bad so that's what I usually eat almost every single morning for breakfast on the occasion, usually weekends when I make big breakfasts for my husband, you know, I'll eat an egg, some sausage. I don't eat bread. I try to stay away from bread. Bread kind of binds me up, if you know what I mean. So I try to stay away from that. So my usual breakfast is just raisin bran with granola. And um, every once in a while, like I'm showing you, I do, well, I just showed you. I guess I'll show you again. I'll throw in like a banana or an apple or some kind of fruit or whatever to get in. And I'll show you the the raisin bran I eat. I know I'm walking all over. <laughs> Excuse how I look, really and truly. This is just me at home. So <clears throat> it's about 12.20, so it's almost lunchtime for me. So I'm gonna show you what we're gonna have for lunch. But this is my raisin bran. That's the raisin bran I eat pretty much every single morning. And then this is my milk, if you will. This is what I do. And I get this from Aldi's. So that's it. And like I said, I'll put an apple, a banana, whatever I have. I have apples. So that's what you saw in my that's what you saw in my cereal. Tonight I have drumsticks out. We're probably gonna do um black pepper and lemon drumsticks and sides and stuff. So I will show you that for dinner. But I'm going to get lunch going here in a few. I usually eat lunch between 12.30 and 1. So I'm going to get that going. And then I think it's so funny. Because I've been wearing this little sports bra type thing that fits my daughter. <laughs> they fit my daughter. Um, It's so funny, you know, when you lose weight. Like, I would love to lose more weight in my belly and in my butt. Those are two places I really want the weight loss to show. Now it's showing a little, but not like the way I want. 
of course, the first place I lose a lot of weight is always in my chest area, my girls. And then they get super saggy. <laughs> so I've been wearing this little sports bra type thing, you know, because my expensive bra that I got from Romans or Women Within, I can't remember here, maybe the tag will tell me here, uh, Romans, $60 bra, <sighs> is huge on me and hangs. But I, like, this is my really good bra, not to talk about nasty stuff, but this is, like, my really, really good bra. So, before I eat lunch, I'm going to attempt to sew this little bad boy up. I'm going to take a couple inches in here, because it, it's a clasp in the front. I'm going to try to pinch that together and sew it, and then even with the straps, with the thingy me doodle all the way in the back, they're constantly falling off my shoulders and but it's like I paid sixty dollars for this bra. So I'm gonna I am not the best seamstress, if you will, but I'm gonna see if I can't uh rig up my bra so that I can actually wear a real bra because I've noticed in some of my videos, you know you can see this bra in my shirt because it's not really a bra. It's like a, it's like something I picked up from like the family dollar. <laughs> like I need a bra. Anyways, we're going to get off that subject. It's a little weird. But I also have some really important stuff. I have another, I have another like goal or, um, milestone if you will to share with you guys so I'm not sure how I'm gonna start doing this because right now I'm only uploading on this channel on Tuesdays and Thursdays and you know to have a really like catchy name or whatever you want to call it it would be wonderful to be like able to call it like way in Wednesdays but um I'm not really uploading on Wednesdays here yet, so it just depends. Like, if my channel gets growing and getting big, I will do more videos. But for, like, right now, it's just Tuesday and Thursday, so I'm going to try to come up with some kind of catchy name for Thursday. But my milestone is I'm officially in the 300s. <laughs> I have been in the 400s for three years it, it's taken me a long time to get here. So I weighed myself this morning. I'm going to insert that clip right here. Hello. It's ready. I'm, I'm like, I'm tickled pink. I'm, I mean, I know it's like barely in the 300s, but guys, I'm in the 300s. So for all of my new subscribers, people who have not been with me for a long time, I do have another channel here on YouTube. It's linked down below. And that channel deals with cleaning and home decor and homemaking and things of that nature. So if you're interested in any of that, it's linked down below. You can go check it out. But I know some of my longtime subscribers from over there have come over here. So you guys have seen me like at my heaviest and stuff. But all for my all my brand new subs here on Missy Lynn. I'm so glad you guys are here and we're doing this journey together. The highest that I was able to be weighed. I think I weighed more than this, but just from where I'll put a picture in here. I think when I was at my heaviest, um, the heaviest I was ever be able to weigh on a scale was 536. So that was my heaviest, 536, and I am now 398. So that's a total weight loss of like 138 pounds, 138 pounds. So 
I'm down 138 pounds. I'm so excited. This is the smallest I've been in a really long time. So for me, this is such a big deal. So um, I don't know how often I'm going to do like weigh-ins, maybe once a month, twice a month, maybe. I don't like live or die by the scale because sometimes that can be really discouraging. And another thing that some of my new subscribers may not know either is I also have lymphedema in my left leg, which is looking really, really good. I, maybe I can find some pictures to squeeze in here of my leg when it was not so well. I was actually, I joined a gym and I had a trainer and my trainer actually was like, I can't train you because she was so worried I had a blood clot because my leg was so big. It's looking really, really good. But sometimes, depending on weather, and if I do eat something salty, my leg will retain fluid and my weight will fluctuate. Like one day I may be like 398 and I may get up the next morning and my leg may be really big <laughs> and I can be like four or five, you know, 405 pounds. But I, but I know in my mind it's water weight and I know because sometimes my leg will swell too when it's that time of the month. So sometimes my leg gives me a little bit of trouble, but right now it's doing really, really good. I'm talking, 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 you guys, this year off. You guys are like, we're just here to see what you eat, Missy. So enough of that. I just wanted to give you guys an update of um, where we are. If you guys can think of some kind of like cute, catchy name for like a weigh-in on Thursday or something like that, please leave it down in the comments. I would love to hear. And for now, maybe we'll do it like once a month because like I said, I don't live by the scale, but it is so nice to see where your work pay off. And I'm going to get busy making lunch now that I have talked your ears off. And I want to see what's in that box. I think it's my brand new um, tripod. My tripod, my old tripod broke. And I really want to get more um, video when I'm out walking on my trails and stuff like that. Because the scenery is about to be beautiful here in southwestern Pennsylvania for fall. And I want to capture that, guy, that for you guys. So I really need a good tripod. So. Okay, guys, sorry to disappoint you, but I'm not having anything really exciting for lunch today because it's yucky and I just feel like soup today. So I'm having one of these. This is the broccoli cheddar soup by Panera. It's delicious. And it is 280 calories for the whole container, which is nothing for lunch. So if I eat this now, which I'll probably be eating it around one, around three, I can have a snack of like an apple. One of my favorite snacks is rice cake with a little smear of peanut butter and jelly on it. I can have a snack because 280 calories leaves me calories for a snack. And then I can have dinner. So I think I forgot to mention what my calorie, diff what I'm, I'm trying to do. I do 15 to 1600 calories a day. That's where I try to stay in. If I'm if I go a little over 15, I don't freak out. So that's why I allow myself to 16. But I really, really tried to stay in a 1500 calorie place. So I'm going to go pop this bad boy in the microwave. I'm going to add a little teeny bit of extra cheese on it. And this is going to be my lunch. And at three o'clock, I should be pretty hungry for a snack. And I'll share that with you then. Oh, and what? Whoa, whoa. What just happened? Why are we not working? Don't you cut, don't you break on me, microwave. Okay, you guys just did hear that cut off, right? That was weird. Okay. Anywho, while that's cooking is what I went to say. I'm going to go over and show you what was in. It's my new tripod. This thing is awesome. This is like a professional tripod. It even has a leveler. Right here on it and everything look at this bad boy it has a hook in the middle for you to hang your stuff off of like this is gonna change my filming game a lot and it comes with a bag so I can put this on my back when I go on um, on the trails and look it even has where I can program this into my phone on my Bluetooth so that I can you know take pictures and start my video 
and I love that it fits in this little compact bag and I can put this on my back and take it on the trail with me this thing is a beast I got it off of Amazon and it's called UBE size this thing is gonna change my filming a lot <laughs> I'm super excited about it unless you're a youtuber you may not be geeked over that but I am totally geeked over this okay friends it's about that time for dinner so there is my legs with lemon pepper seasoning that's the lemon pepper seasoning I used I think I got that from Aldi's to put on there and then I have my sweet potato cooking on the side I'm gonna put that in the oven my family of course is gonna eat something completely different but for me I'm gonna have a sweet potato and I prefer my sweet potatoes in the oven than in the microwave I feel like they just taste better I don't know why but they do and then this is them pulled out of the oven and I'm going to show you what my family's eating. I made butter noodles and green beans for them. My husband wanted his leftover ziti though. <laughs> my husband is a ziti fanatic. So he had ziti and chicken and green beans. And I had my drumstick, my green beans, and my sweet potato with a little bit of butter and sour cream. Simple, easy dinner. Okay, so I'm all curled up on the couch at night. And it's about... It's about 6.30, quarter to 7, somewhere in there. And I'm having my evening snack, which is rice cake with a smear. And I mean like a smear because peanut butter can be really high in fat of peanut butter and blueberry preserves, organic blueberry preserves. A rice cake is like 40 calories and with a smear of peanut butter and a little, and I mean just a little bit. I mean like guys, it's just a smear. Um, that adds about another... 25 to 30 calories so you got like a 60 calorie 65 calorie snack and that's what I'm going to eat tonight for my snack and that is a full day of eating and that's pretty much what I do I just try to keep it and I try to eat my snacks before 7 but we ate a later dinner because my husband got home from work later so my snacks a little later if it goes past 8 even if I'm really really hungry though I won't eat because eating after 8 o'clock is just not good not only is it not good for your digestive system but it just makes me feel yucky so even if it's after 8 and I'm really hungry I usually don't so I try to have my snack before 8 and then after 8 it's only water so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, guys. So it is an absolute beautiful day. Very different than yesterday. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to make a big, delicious salad for me and my mom. And we are going to go to a new park with Dozer. And I thought I would take you guys along with me. We'll try out my new tripod and we'll see it's it's been chilly so the leaves might just be starting to change and this park has a beautiful lake and such so I'll take you guys with me to our morning walk and we're gonna have a little picnic lunch there because they have gazebos and things like that so I'm gonna make our lunch which is gonna be this big healthy delicious salad and it's gonna be a good day we're gonna get a nice walk in have a nice lunch and be outside where it's beautiful and enjoy these beautiful days of, of autumn and fall look how beautiful it's, it's oh my camera's dirty hold on there we go <laughs> look how beautiful she's doing good she's doing let's go inside I'll get the salad going I'll make it with you and let's get this day started Ba-da-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-ba-
So, two paper plates we're gonna put in there. Okay, and I'm also gonna be packing Olive Garden Signature Italian Dressing, which by the way, I got at Aldi's, believe it or not. There's the salad, two forks, we're gonna go here on the side. I'm gonna pack some Italian seasoned croutons in this little baggie, and I'm gonna get an ice pack, and we're gonna get our little prepared lunch to go. I even have some wet wipes, and that is gonna be our picnic lunch at the park. So you can go out and, oh, I forgot, I'm gonna bring two apples too. Um, you can go out and have a good time without blowing your diet. <laughs> pre-plan, pre-plack, pre-plan, pre-pack, food prep. If you can eat your own food rather than take out food, not that there's nothing wrong with going out to eat once in a while, but it's best to eat what you will make. So that's our little picnic. I'm excited. I almost forgot the most important thing in an Anacosta salad. It's the little monster balls. Again, you can get these little suckers from all these monster balls. I'm gonna get them in the salad and then we'll be ready to go. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. What a cool dog. We're walking. We made it to the new park. It's so pretty. It's just beautiful. Look at it. It's beautiful. This is where we're gonna have our picnic. Mom's behind me. She's coming. It's just beautiful. Love it. There's flowers all along this side. It's just beautiful here. Those are like, can we just walk? <laughs> it's so pretty. Pretty. Oh. There those are. There is a huge white crane. It just flew in here. Can you guys see it? Look at it, it's huge. I keep seeing white cranes everywhere I go. Look at it. Wow, I wonder what that means. Is there a symbolic meaning to white cranes? I'm trying not to draw the camera, guys. Look at that, it's fishing. I wonder if I can zoom in a little bit more. Hold on. Here it is, guys. The video isn't that great this zoomed in. But that's it. Look at that. That's wild. Big white crane. Gozer's watching. He's like, what are we doing, Mom? We walked right up to the edge of the water. Beautiful.
on our little adventure today, we decided to take a detour. And this is the famous Kecksburg UFO uh, crash site. And this happened in December 9th of 1965. And this is really big in our area. And this is a replica of the UFO and the writing that was on it and such. And this is the actual craft, like crash site of where this happened. This is literally 20 minutes from my house in Kecksburg. So I thought I would show you this little interesting piece of history in my area. Isn't that crazy? I don't know what all the writing means, but, and it's right in next to the Kecksburg um, fire station. A little piece of history for you guys. Crazy dog. <laughs> He's like a toddler. You, you happy now you went in the water? I know, look at him. You're simple. <laughs> <laughs> 